I'm Claire Temperton and I am the lucky mum of Archie and Frankie. On the first day that the twins were born, Archie was diagnosed with a grade four brain hemorrhage, which is the equivalent of a stroke. So we didn't really know what the future was going to hold for Archie. A few months after discharge, I was um, just looking at the way Archie moved and used his eyes and they just seemed to be flickering a lot. Um, I did ask my partner at the time, did, you know, do you think he can see? Quick trip to the hospital the next day where we were admitted for testing, MRIs, all that sort of jazz and it was determined that during birth and, and the brain bleed that his, the pathway between the brain and his eyes was damaged. So we teed up with visibility from about two, three months of age and we've been dealing with their services ever since. The orthoptic testing has definitely allowed us a better understanding um, of something that really you have no idea about until you're thrown into this world. We had our first orthoptist visit at home actually, um, which was a really interesting situation. So she was able to sort of do the, run her tests in a home environment where Archie was a lot more comfortable. Before that, we had no real idea of knowing if he could see or what he could see. Uh, so that gave us a really good ballpark about where we were at vision-wise, you know, what we needed to do to work on, you know, how far he could see or what he could focus on. We've seen a massive improvement in his in his vision over the last couple of years, um, which, you know, when this first started out, we weren't sort of super hopeful on where the world was going to lead for Archie in regards to his eyesight. But seeing the way he can, you know, pinpoint a crumb on a on a table is just phenomenal. My name is Amy. And I'm one of the orthoptists at Visibility. Uh, my job is to test how people's vision functions and guide them as to what aids and equipment might help them in their day-to-day -day life. So, if someone is not verbal, we can we have what we call preferential looking tests. So, it will be a piece of grey card with some black and white stripes on one side and just plain grey on the other. When the stripes are too small and fine enough for someone to see then it will blur into the same colour grey as it's on the other side of the card. We also will use small beads or balls and see how small they can get before someone can't see them anymore. International Orthoptic Awareness Week is so important because we're not very well known, us orthoptists. We have such a little niche area and there's only 700 of us or so in Australia. <laughs> My name is Alona Ald and I am the mother of Eloise and when she was 14 she had a traumatic brain injury caused by a mountain bike crash and because of being in a coma for some time she had damage to her eyes and that's why we had to seek out visibility. Eloise had had difficulties going to appointments before because she couldn't settle and she'd get restless and she'd want to leave. However, when we went to visibility, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, they were, it was a very calming environment and Amy, who was looking after us, she had actually changed what she was wearing to make sure that it was calming for Eloise and not going to overexcite her. And she just was really good at pacing to Eloise's pace and allowing Eloise to relax and get used to her and then doing the different um, testings in a way that was comfortable for Eloise which we hadn't experienced before. The best thing that came out of that was it gave us a starting point of where to move forward to gain uh, more specialised help but also it really helped with Eloise's schooling because Amy gave us strategies that El um, Eloise could use to help her with her reading and writing difficulties. 